pressure on them. Yeah. Put the pressure on them. Yeah. Two shots to the head. That's what I call an extra bonus. Woo. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Pin from Sick Humor TV, and today I am back with another video. Alright, now I know I don't do these videos a lot, but I'm about to start doing these videos a lot more. Why? Because I have things that I want to talk about, um, you know, when I'm not on stream and stuff like that. And one of the main topics that I do want to talk about is uh, diversity in gaming, right? Um, I'm not going to be one of those people that, you know, sit up here and say that everything that uh, allows inclusion or allows for inclusion is some SJW shit, right? Because that's what I've been hearing a lot lately, a lot lately, you know? Um, if, if there's any type of inclusion of anybody who is considered to be outside of the norm, right? Now, I know when I say outside of the norm, you're going to be like, but damn, if you're, if you're gay, that doesn't mean that you're outside of the norm. That just, you know, that's, that's pretty goddamn normal these days, right? I agree. I agree. I have friends that are gay, you know what I mean? And I don't look at them any differently than people who, you know, that I know that are straight. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever their sexual preference is don't mean shit to me because it doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my life. It doesn't affect what I have going on. So, you know, I, I don't I don't really care, man. Like this is this is the thing that I, I, I don't understand. Right. I don't understand why people get so up in arms about, you know, diversity and inclusion when you have games where you're playing as fucking aliens and, and and just creatures outside of the norm you have games where you're playing as animals you know but it's only it only seems to be a bad thing if you're playing with something you don't agree with right now i'm not gonna tell you what you should and should not agree with because i'm not you i don't live in your world I don't know what type of fucked up world that you could live in where you're okay with people being marginalized, but you're not okay with yourself being marginalized. You know what I mean? Um, and again, like I said, I want to make it very clear. I don't agree with Anita Sarkeesian at all on anything. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing whatsoever. But what I also don't agree with is what people are willing to do and say and then try to justify at the end of the day. Right? Uh, so I'm not going to get into, you know, the other stuff because uh, I really don't care. Like uh, I was going to talk about some comments that was made by a certain uh, individual and YouTuber, but I don't I don't really care to even go into it anymore because the dude is a hypocrite. That's all. That, that's all I'm going to say. He is full of hypocrisy. Again, it's very clear what I, I get what his messaging is. I know what his messaging is. Everybody else knows what his messaging is, but for some reason people defend his messaging based on whatever you know but I'm, I'm gonna say this like i say it all the time right I, I i have i have no issues and i've seen these type of things in previous games right i feel like if you don't like what a game is doing realize you're telling the developers that you don't care about what they care about right and that's totally fine because you're your own person so if you don't care about what that developer is putting out for you then don't buy it it's very simple don't play the game don't buy it you know what i mean um you know saying things like oh i'm not gonna pay for it i'm gonna game share it that's that's whatever bro you you still playing the game you know what i mean that's the ultimate thing you're still getting the experience you just feel like you're not paying to get said experience. So what is your complaint about? If you're just going to game share a game, then shut the fuck up and game share the game. I mean, just game share the game, bro. Like, here's the thing. I guess I can see things from a different perspective because I have a daughter, right? And I do want my daughter to have some type of representation. I it, let, She plays games, you know what I mean? So I would want her to be able to play a game with a character that she can relate to, you know what I mean? Not necessarily a gay character or anything like that, but just a woman, a female character altogether, an empowered female character. Because I think we still live in a day and age where people believe that women are victims, that they need to be sheltered, that they belong in the kitchen, you know, dumb shit like that. 
You know what I mean? And and to be quite frank, half of you bum ass niggas is lifting off of women right now. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Half of you bum ass niggas don't have a job. Y'all sitting at home all day, driving her car, taking her to work, and then y'all going back home and doing nothing with your life. And that's but you don't wanna but you don't wanna be forced to play as a woman in a game. Like cut cut it the fuck out. Cut it the fuck out, dog. I don't wanna hear that shit, dog. I don't want to hear that shit at all. Um, but yeah, man, I'm all for inclusion. I'm all for diversity, man. Listen, I like to understand things and people from their perspective, not just my own enclosed perspective, right? So I'm willing to delve into somebody's somebody else's lifestyle, somebody else's life. You know what I mean? And I'm willing to give it a fair try. Hell, I don't have superpowers, but I'm quick to play as a goddamn superhero in a game. You know what I mean? I'm not fucking white. You know what I mean? I'm the blackest nigga you could probably ever find or meet. You know what I mean? But I have no problems playing as Nathan Drake. You know what I mean? I have no problems playing as any character whatsoever. All of this talk about pushing an agenda? Nah, dog. If anything, you're the one pushing any, pushing the agenda. Your agenda is anti-inclusion. You don't want to say that, but you know that that's exactly what you're pushing. That's the in that's that's the shit that you're pushing. Because you don't like what you see on the screen, you want to condemn the game. You don't like what you see on the screen, so you want to condemn the developers. I mean, here's the thing. When it comes to The Last of Us, Ellie was a very integral part of that game, dude. And if you played um the Last of Us DLC, the first game, if you played the DLC, you already knew Ellie was gay. The second thing is, I keep trying to tell you guys, they used that scene to push the narrative forward. They also answered questions that people were wondering. People were wondering, was that kiss that Ellie had in the previous game, was it, you know, just a simple, you know, uh, experimental kiss from you know one girl to the next or is ellie really you know is ellie really gay i mean i guess it doesn't really matter if ellie is gay or not but if you see what happened with the girl right first of all they were showing off they were showcasing um the 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 engine features you know what i'm saying and showing how you know how, how advanced the techniques have gotten that they're using for like facial expressions and stuff like that and also skin on skin contact within games because if you play games before right you know when these characters kiss usually they face start going inside of each other you know what i mean um but also if you listen to what the girl is saying you know her and ellie is having a conversation um and she says they should be terrified and once she says they should be terrified, it cuts to a scene where Ellie is fucking knifing the hell out of somebody. You know what I mean? So what I don't understand is how do y'all not understand that that was something that was used to push the narrative forward in the actual action scene? They could have came out with just that particular scene, right? But then again, when you played the game, you would have had no idea what else was happening in the game or what led up to that particular point. You would have never known that that was a cutscene. But at this point, you actually do know that it's a cutscene. I mean, it's a flashback. That's exactly what the hell it is. That particular shit has already happened. They're just letting you go back and replay it. But either way, man, like I said, People in the gaming community, man, we have so many uh, people who play games nowadays, so many diverse individuals. You know, we have people that have handicaps. We have people that have specific sexual preferences. We have people of different race, color, gender, creed, all of this shit, man. And honestly, we are a gaming community, a gaming community. That community is a group of people from around the world who get together each and every day to participate in a hobby that they love. Now, if that's something that you feel like you should be the, the, the fucking controller of, you should control the narrative and what people say, you can go fuck yourself, man. Listen, it's 2018. Get the fuck off your high horse. It's your boy Pan from Sick Humor TV. I'm out. <laughs>